Hello everyone, Dwarf Lab have just announced their new Dwarf 3 telescope, very exciting. And uh, I've just got some specs up um, on their page and I've put them against the specs of the Dwarf 2. And I've got some other tabs open looking at the two next to, ne next to each other in Astronomy Tools to look at the arc second resolution, focal ratio, field of view, things like that. And some information about the sensors in both of them. So if we go back to this page, this is what Dwarf Lab have put up and uh, they're just announcing it and they'll, they'll actually be launching it on the 30th of May. So we can find out more then. They've just put this very short video up for now. Um, it looks, as you can see, it's the same. If you know the Dwarf 2, this is the same form factor, same mechanical mechanism. They've just looked to have increased the size of that lens and put a better processor in, made the motors stronger, general, general improvements, but keeping that small form factor. So that's pretty cool because I personally like the form factor. I'm not sure what colour it is because in some pictures it kind of looks black. This it looks kind of a silvery colour. Um, I did see when they brought out the Dwarf 2, I did see some photos of that in black. So I'm not certain because obviously that was released in a light colour. And they may keep a light colour because obviously it helps with heat heat management during the daytime. And the Dwarf Scope Smart Telescope is not just for astronomy. It, it's um, a bit of an all-round device for daytime and nature use as well. So they may choose a lighter colour to help with the heat management because it won't absorb as much heat in the daytime when the sun's kind of blowing down on it. Even though it looks flipping cool in black. I'd love to see it in black for us astronomers. Love to see the Darth Vader version, that would be awesome. But we've got some specs and I've put these next to the specs of the Dwarf 2. So the Dwarf 2 had a 24 millimeter aperture uh, uh, lens for the telephoto and that's gone up to 35. And the focal length's increased from 100 to 150. And it's got a much better sensor. This is a very modern Sony sensor and the pixels are slightly larger. It's the same as what's in the ZWSI678. And it's got two micron pixels compared to, I've got the chart up for the Dwarf 2 sensor, which is the IMAX415. And that has got 1.5 four or five year end pixels. So it's got a longer focal length for Dwarf 3, but it's got bigger pixels. So the arc second resolution is going to be similar. And if we jump over into astronomy tools, we can kind of see that. So this is a Dwarf 2 and it gives, I plug the figures in, 24 mil aperture uh, pixels, 1.45. I've got the array information from this spec sheet. So I think I plugged everything in correctly. And we've got a focal ratio for the Dwarf 2 of 4.2 for the telephoto. Uh, resolution, arc second resolution, 2.99, practically free. And a field of view of 3.2 by 1.8. And the new Dwarf 3 is practically the same in some aspects. Like the focal ratio is very similar, just very slightly slower. Resolution just very slightly finer at 2.75 arc seconds per pixel versus 3 arc seconds per pixel. And even though it's a larger sensor, um, because it's got a longer field of view, it zooms in more. So the field of view is slightly tighter at 2.9 by 1.65. So just to reiterate, Dwarf 2's got the wider field of view of 3.21 by 1.8, and the Dwarf 3 looks to be 2.9 by 1.65. And if we look down how things are going to be framed. Good old Andromeda, because everyone knows roughly what that's like when it hits the sensor. Um, it's one of the first things we all image. So I thought that'd be a good sort of demo here. And we can see that the new Dwarf 3, if I plugged everything incorrectly, will frame it like so. And if we jump over to the Dwarf 2, that is a dis difference, which is very similar. The Dwarf 3 is just very slightly more punched in but only minimally. But the Dwarf 3 does have very slightly better resolution and the sensor is going to be a big leap forward in terms of things like quantum efficiency, noise control, 
and amp glow things like that it's going to be a cleaner sensor probably be able to take longer exposures and keeping the noise down i should imagine so it'd be interesting to see what they do with the exposure lengths for this but yeah larger two two micron pixels versus 1.45 still very fine pixels now okay so it stays the same in terms of the specs in you know eight megapixels for the telephoto two megapixels for the wide camera and that's exactly the same as what we've got with the dwarf 2 but i think it's just got more horsepower because if you look at the telephoto lens on the dwarf 2 you can see it's developed bush baby eyes it's got a bigger bush baby size nocturnal eye now for letting in more light um, so it's kind of bridging the gap between the Dwarf 2 and the Sea Stars with its 50mm aperture. This kind of seems to sit in the middle, but keep its small compact form factor, which is really cool. And it's got a built-in quite large battery, 10,000 milliamps with external USB charging. And with the Dwarf 2, this had an interchangeable battery that you could get a new spare battery and plug it in you could buy a deluxe kit with two batteries and it's interchangeable so that's going to be that might split opinion some people might like the fact that you can change the battery on the dwarf too and might not be too pleased about the built-in battery but that is a large battery and i must say i've only ever used one battery although i will admit that it does kind of run out and i I have called the night early because the batteries run out. This should address that because that's a very big battery. Um, apart from that, I've heard that the motor is going to be stronger. It's going to have improvements to like the processor and things like that, as you'd naturally expect as time goes on. But we'll find out more on, on launch day, May the 30th. So until then, we'll uh, I'll see you guys later and hopefully we can find out more. And uh, it's uh, yeah, exciting times.